Hello, wonderful viewers, and welcome back to some more Silent Hill 3. This is part 6. You know, for only being 6 parts in, we've made some pretty fucking decent progress, I think. Let's head over here. Start off strong, do some search. Search and destroy. There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she'd been fired. Ugh. That doesn't sound like nice things. Flowing freely your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart, clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to myself. Stanley Coleman. I fucked that up a little bit at the end, but you know what? It worked out. Means the same thing. Zoinks. And away. Now, what we got going on up here? Eh. Okay, I, I know I don't have what I need to do this one, so... I guess what that means is... We're going back downstairs. <laughs> it right oh god I got cry stream on mute in the background I'm not looking at it though I'm looking at my fucking capture but he started playing Stardew Valley I'm glad he's liking it it's only 14 bucks check it out shameless plug it's fun as shit if you're a fan of old school Harvest Moon like Super Nintendo style you'll like that shit Pure eyes, blue like a glassy bead. I'm not gonna read this all again because we read it last video. I was looking at me, I was looking at you. I'm looking at me, looking at you. I don't wanna hurt you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's cut through the fluff, huh? Not saying a word, even curses from your mouth. Fucking ouch. Oh, God. That would hurt a lot. That would hurt a lot. Cinema of tears streaming from your crushed eye. Can't know the maddening hunger I felt. P -p 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 drinking in your cries. Okay. Oh, come on, brain. I know you know the puzzle. It's just a matter of like, like I know the hint is to, is to make the keypad like a face, but I remembered that it was kind of awkward how you had to do it. Uh, um, I'm pretty sure I tried this last time. Yeah, it didn't do shit. Maybe I did do it backwards. No. Um, okay, what if your nose, your mouth... Well, well, last time I was looking at these like they were the... the ears, but... Maybe these are the ears. 
so if we go no that wasn't it okay so cheek mouth wait that wasn't cheek that was that was ear ear mouth cheek oh thank christ finally I'm glad that it didn't take that long either. Alright, fucking tally ho. You know what? I'm, I'm loading up. I hate moving slower, but those nurses are packing heat. Medical record here. Could this be for the dead guy? Background unknown. Name, age unknown. Not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at Chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed carotid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assumed this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or... Uh, no, ugh, ugh, my apologies. It's fucking 2.30 in the morning. Have received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in same room. <clears throat> Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. There's a man's corpse laid out on the stretcher. The hand that's sticking out of it has something written on it. Let's have a look-see. Let's have a gander. The start time is my key. Don't worry, the sound's not out of sync. I just read it before I actually clicked it. Okay, you've got a pipe. mistake of trying to shoot me point blank and somehow missed. Not that I'm complaining. Compulsively check all the doors. Also, this is just occurring to me now, but I totally missed the mannequin jump scare. Son of a bitch. That was a good one, too. Oh well. There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, uh, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him. Though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest? Since I can't cut it open to show you my heart? I love Heather. Nah. Something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Ugh, Stanley Coleman. Let's see. Okay. The attache case is locked. unlocked. Look like at military time, son. I got an instant camera. God, I remember those. Pillow was stained and sticky with blood. Is this from the tattoo guy? I got a bad feeling. So, ugh, select is not my map. I don't think there's anything in these last two anyway check anyway just to be sure hmm. 
that was a room of nope. And we will never speak of that room again. I know it's kind of disappointing that you guys can't really see that. But that... <laughs> the first time that happened. And just now, I jumped both times. Oh, shit. I didn't even see myself dodge that shit. But I totally fucking dodged it. Alright. Hang on a second. If I'm in that elevator... Then what's the deal with the bloody elevator? Is that the same elevator? Or is that the other one? Now I'm curious. It has to be the same one. What the fuck? That's weird. God, how many years I've played this game and I never once thought of that. That's super fucking weird. Alright. We've got what we need to do this puzzle. If you can even call it a puzzle. It's more like I just walk here and I use the thing. Streaks of blood, as if something got dragged, are continuing on to the back of the shelf. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. So, rather than something getting dragged out, it was more like something, or something dragged in and was somebody trying to get out. Let's see, what do we got here? 2697. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't, you, oh, yeah, you can use the stairs here. I might as well just take these stairs up to the third floor then. Third floor, ho. Oh. was a new one. Or maybe I just never noticed it before. I think it was 2697, right? Nailed it. Uh, I forget what the program my buddy Airhammer uses. But, um, I forget what the site is. It, it's like Watch Together or something like that. <laughs> we were fucking sitting around watching old episodes of Captain N. Captain N, the Game Masters. And Teaching Despair, Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Small Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity and that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope, but at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as The Order. 
It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite and chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber Hope House I feel like I've heard that name before. Roadhouse Strafe and check. Strafe everywhere, it's faster. They got TV up there. The doll's all torn apart. It's really pretty sad to look at. I uh, wonder who did it anyway. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone. More beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day. For today. The day I'd see you. The day you'd save me. Today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Ouch. Well, he did. Ow. Oh, come on. That was piss poor. And of course I took that off just as I f get fucking dinged. Nasty. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words. The anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? I'm sorry. killed my father. She's a fool. But she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways. But I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here. And I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? Not sure myself, 
But the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal? <laughs> Go check it out. Fucking sick dodging man. Can't even keep up with my mad dodge. That is if, if you'll excuse the you know the, the monumentous fuck up that took place before I entered the room. I was contemplating taking the stairs or just going with the elevator. Fuck it. Just take the elevator. Heading on down to the second floor. Gonna break on through to the other side. Ooh, 21 minutes. the click of a gun. All right, room at the end of the hall. There it is. Oh, I love this kind of shit. Oh, I was really hoping Cameron Jason would be able to sit in with me on this one, but... Oh well, what can you do, right? I'm gonna follow the magical gates. I'm sure it won't take us anywhere horrible. Right? Right. Oh, so how are you guys doing? You all settled in? You stoked for more? And the gloriousness that is Silent Hill 3. You know, as much as I love 2, I actually prefer the combined efforts of uh, one and three over two. I mean, two's great and it's fantastic and everything. And I realized that, you know, the story of one and three can be a little muddy. And I still, I still love those two more. Like the combined efforts of one and three will always trump two for me. That and I just like uh, <clears throat> the overall tone and theme of the first and third game over the second. Not to say that the second one's bad, but you know what I mean. Anyway, this picture, this one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. But I know this one. It must be... Still has an unusually high feeling. <coughs> Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Why? What is keeping that child alive? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Skittles. What the hell? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa, who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird though. Yeah, you don't really see too much of her in the first game. To, I mean, to get like a real 
glimpse into her personality, although she is a fan favorite character. Oh, wonderful. Isn't it lovely? Oh, there's something written there. What does that say? Wonder? Wonderful? Uh, somebody wants to tell me what that writing on the wall says? I'd love that. I always love learning new shit about this game. Absolutely love it. Oops, I accidentally hit my desk. Sorry about that. Probably popped the mic. Oh god. You know what? I'm going to um, take care of this little problem right now. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Fucking playing possum. I'm probably dying. My controller's going nuts. I don't even know how much ammo I have. Seriously? Man, hard doesn't fuck around. I'm going around this dude. I wasn't expecting to find those guys here on hard. I wasn't expecting to, anyway. I know there's a save room in here. Oh, my luck, he's probably right in front of it. S3, there's only one door I've missed. There it is. Pain in the ass. I got the handgun bullets. The hand outside the window. Ugh, that thing always made me nervous. It's like the second I got close to it and went to back away, it was gonna do a monstrous pull up and scare the shit out of me. God damn, really? I can't believe I have that little ammo. Oh, then again, I haven't really been exploring all that much. So I guess it makes sense. So, before I end this video, I'm going to take a look at Dad's notebook. Because I have yet to do that yet. <clears throat> I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away. Far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this. Before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thanked God for letting us meet this child. This girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died. And another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girls please and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Return to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God. Alessa Gillespie. 
half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby, in that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alessa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into the sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony, to bring God out of Alessa. The newly born God wailed once and was dead, all from that girl's and probably Alessa's conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like the girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now seventeen years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought, she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness, anger. There were times when I would put my hands around her tiny little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she... When you look at me, you laugh so... Even now, I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. And with that, I'm going to cut this video off right here. So, like, favorite. Ooh, I'm going to wait till that sound goes away. So, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know if you're liking it. Let me know if you have any other suggestions. I'd love to hear them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.